In this video, we'll discuss the graphs of functions and its inverses. The first equation that we are going to look at is the equation of a straight line. Let's say fx is equal to negative 3x plus 3. This is the equation of the straight line. If we want to draw this graph, we take the x value equal to 0 and the y value equal to 0. Where x is 0, we'll find the intercept on the y-axis. And where y is equal to 0, we'll find the intercept on the x-axis. To draw that on the Cartesian plane, I go where x is equal to 0 and then y is 3. And where y is equal to 0, x is 1. This line then represents the graph of fx. The second thing that I can determine on this graph is its inverse function. Now, if we take the four steps that we learned before, um, we can find the inverse function. So I replace the fx with a y. Then to find the inverse function, I swap x and y's position. Then I solve y in terms of x. Therefore, the inverse function is x minus 3 over negative 3. Therefore, the inverse function is x minus 3 over negative 3. I can also rewrite this as negative x minus 3 over positive 3. I can also rewrite this as negative x minus 3 over 3. If I want to move the negative to the top. So to draw this function, I do the same two steps as before. I set x equal to 0 and y equal to 0. If I set x equal to 0, I find y is equal to 1. That is the y-intercept. And if I put y equal to 0, I find x is equal to 3, the x-intercept. This second graph now represents the inverse function. Notice that in the original graph, the x-intercept is 1, and on the inverse function, the y-intercept is 1. And in the original graph, the y-intercept is 3, and in the new graph, the x-intercept is equal to 3. So what we have learned before is that the x and y simply swap positions. In grade 9, we learned about reflections and rotations. So what the inverse function is, is simply reflecting the original graph over the y is equal to x line. So if I reflect it, you can see that the 1 in the x-axis is mirrored in the y-axis, and the 3 in the y-axis is mirrored in the x-axis. So x and y simply swap positions. We also need to consider that a, there is a point of intersection. At that point of intersection, the two graphs are equal to each other. To find the point of intersection, I place the two graphs equal to each other. So it is negative 3x plus 3 is equal to negative x minus 3 over so I place the graph equal to each other, I multiply the left side by 3, then I divide it by negative 1 to get rid of the negative, brought everything over to the one side, and then I solved x.
I can solve y by substituting the value of x into one of the equations and I find y is also 3 quarters. Therefore, the point of intersection is 3 quarters and 3 quarters. And notice it's on the line where y is equal to x. Let us consider a parabola or a quadratic function. So fx is equal to negative 2x squared. To find the inverse of the function, we replace fx with y. We swap x and y's position. And then we solve y in terms of x. Therefore, the inverse function is equal to plus or minus the square root of x over negative 2. There is a restriction on this. For the square root to be valid, x needs to be smaller than 0. If x is a negative number, then the square root will always have a positive value on the inside. We also stated in the previous lesson that this is a non-function. And we are going to put restrictions on this function in later lessons. Using the table method, I can draw the original graph of fx. And simply by swapping coordinates x and y's values, I can draw a, the inverse function of fx. So remember that the inverse function is a reflection about the y is equals to x axis or line. And therefore the x takes the y values and y takes the x values. Secondly, the inverse function is not a true function. Because if I do a vertical line test of a ruler, and if I go, I can see that for the value of negative 1 in x, I have two values in y and that continues to go on. So for negative 2, I have two values in y and that continues. So therefore, this inverse function is not considered a function. And we will put restrictions on it in later lessons.